This video was brought to you by Manco.Trade. This site allows you to instantly trade off your unwanted TF2 items in exchange for other TF2 items. Any money that would be left over on your side gets added to your balance which you can use at any point in any other trades, it just gets stored on your account. They do giveaways every so often so the link to the site will be down below. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and welcome to the first episode in a brand new series. If you're familiar with the channel, you may recognise that I have a series running on the channel called What Can $1,000 Get You in Team Fortress 2? And I've realised that not everyone may have $1,000 laying around. So I decided to make a bit more of a budget version. So today what we're going to be discussing is what can $10 get you in Team Fortress 2. And in the future I may even do what can $1, what can $100, like just general rounded amounts like that I think are really cool and interesting to see. So today we're going to be focusing on $10. According to Backpack.tf that is 5.27 keys. So that is the budget we're going to be working with. I'm going to try and make a complete loadout for that budget. And this just goes to show you can get some really nice items. You can build a really nice loadout for a very, very suitable cost. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into the loadout. So I actually kind of struggled to fill up the $10 margin with this loadout. It really did take me a while to build this loadout, but I think I've got an amount near enough around the $10 mark where all the items kind of contribute together. There is one big item that takes up a good portion of the money. However, I'd say it's like, you know, it makes sense to have it there. It's like a staple piece if you're a scout main. So the first thing we're going to be starting off with is the Strange Flakjack. Obviously, this is a cosmetic I use on my scout. It's my favourite scout body cosmetic. I love how it looks. This, like, sleeveless vest and the be uh, the bullets going across the chest region. This thing comes in at just 14 refined for the Strange version. Just 77 cents, which is a very nice budget Strange Scout misc. And it's very nice to have, like, the additional Strange for such a small cost. The hat we're going to be using is the Hero's Tail for 3.88 refined or just 21 cents. As I was saying, when you're working on a, t uh, a ten dollar budget, you really can't splash out on the cat on the cosmetics, you know, because um, there's a genuine Hero's Tail for nearly a key. Just get the Hero's Tail for 3.88. There's a lot of very cheap hats out there. I went for the Hero's Tail just because I think it's a really nice cosmetic. It fits in perfectly to the loadout, and when I announce the third cosmetic, that's going to make sense. And overall, it's just a really nice hat. And it's going to be paired with a white painted bruiser's bandana. Now, I know the bruiser's bandana is an all-class cosmetic and should be used in the all-class episode. But I kind of figured it goes with the loadout as there's not really a mask for the scout. If you'd rather I didn't use all-class um, cosmetics in future and would just like me to keep it strictly class related then let me know but the white painted bruises bandana comes in at 23 refined or $1.26 so of course we need weapons with the loadout that's what really does start to fill up the cost of this loadout and I'm gonna work from the bottom up so to start off with we have a strange specialized killstreak bat just the stock bat, it costs 13 refined or 71 cents, which is a very good price for uh, a specialised killstreak item. Obviously, you get the sheen and the killstreak aspect of it. It's a pretty good price. The second item we're going to be using is a strange specialised killstreak pistol. This thing comes in at 23 refined or $1.26. Once again, it's awesome, it's specialised killstreak, it's strange, it has the sheen and the killstreak aspect, and it's multi-class as well, you can use this on the engineer if you so very well please, but of course we're going to be using it in the scout loadout for this video. And the third and final weapon, and the item to complete this set, is going to be a strange specialised killstreak festivised scattergun, coming in at approximately three keys, which is $5.69. Um... I kind of had to guess the price because festivized scatter guns are about 1.3, strange spec KS scatter guns are about 1.7, so I just kind of like merge those two together. It could be a bit inaccurate, but this totals off the loadout at $9.90. And for a $10 loadout, this is solid. Everything is specialized kill streak. Um, we've got the festivized scatter gun as well, which looks very similar in game to the strange festive scatter gun, which is multiple keys on its own. And just overall, I think this is a very solid loadout. So leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Let me know your thoughts on the loadout down below. Anything you'd change. If you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, do be sure to subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and peace.